use the Wi-Fi direct of this printer and connect it with our Android device like iPhone or smartphone so go to the display panel first now on the display panel you will see uh, there is a blue light is flashing which is a wireless light if you check on the display we cannot see any Wi-Fi direct icon here that means we need to activate the Wi-Fi direct to activate that we need to press once this Wi-Fi button it will switch off the blue light and you can see the Wi-Fi direct is activated here now go to your Android device or iPhone download the HP smart app from the App Store once you download it open your Wi-Fi setting and look for the direct AAHP Dexjet 2700 series printer name and you can click here it will ask a password now we need to find out the password of this printer now go to the display panel and press the information button once and wait for the printer to print a printer information page so you can see it has printed a page here which is a printer information page and it displays the model number here you see the Wi-Fi direct icon and it displays the name of the Wi-Fi direct and its password so now we have to key in this password here so click in the connect button it is connected go back open HP smart app now we need to add this printer here and to add it click on the plus button on the top and printers name is displayed here desk 2700 series printer so once you click on that it will show up here now if you click on this icon you will see all the details of the printers is available here now I'll show you how to do the wireless scanning now you will see there is an option like printer scan and also there is an icon here to printer scan so just click on that now open the top scanner lid and place a page facing downwards so that we can do a scanning and close the lid again click on the scan button here now it will transfer the scan here you can add more pages if you want in as a single file and you get an option in the end if you want to save it as a JPEG or PDF format. Now open the app and go to the print document section. Now you can choose from your Dropbox or Google Photos or Google Drive or your photos, scanned files or PDF so here is a PDF I'm going to open and there is a print button now it will select the pages you can increase the number of copies or the range and once it is done just confirm and click on this blue icon it will send a command to the printer to do the printing so you can see it has printed and here is the printout to do a copy we need to place a page on the scanner facing downwards close the lid now on the display panel we can click either black or color so for example I have a black copy so I will click it once and just wait for the printout to come so here you can see it has printed so the copy is done now thanks for watching